check this out on off on off on off on off All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gal Barzila and I'm a product designer. And today, my friends, I have a quick tutorial for you. We're gonna learn how to create an interactive toggle in Figma. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click R on my keyboard and create a rectangle around like 636 pixels. And then I'm gonna click O on my keyboard and create an oval. Let's make it white and let's duplicate it, put it next to each other so we can know exactly how wide our toggle should be. Let's make some changes to the, to the colors of the oval. I'm gonna use a linear color from white to kind of a grayish color. I'm gonna add a border to it and I'm gonna do it also linear from white to kind of grayish. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to make this button have some kind of a 3D look. Now let's take our rectangle and give it an inner shadow. Let's do it like a negative on the Y scale. Let's make the blur on two. Very, very subtle inner shadow. And we're gonna uh, give a drop shadow to our ellipse shape. I think that looks good. Okay, so the next step is to select both our uh, layers, the ellipse and the rectangle together. And I'm gonna click on my keyboard Option Command K and that will create a component uh, from those two layers. Let's name this component Toggle. And now I'm going to select the toggle component that I've created and I'm gonna add a variant to it. So to the second variant we're gonna call off and to the first variant we're gonna name it on. So the next step I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select our on toggle and I'm gonna give the rectangle some kind of a blue color so we can tell the difference between the two of them. And I'm gonna move the ellipse of the off button to the right side. Now let's select our on switch and we'll duplicate it by holding option and drag. And you can see that we have an on and off toggle. Now because we gave those two variants an on and off names, Figma does a really great job by recognizing that this component is actually an on or off switch. And we can tell by looking right next to our property one that this has changed from a name to an on off switch. Now this works best only when we have two components on and off or let's say checked unchecked. Once we add one more variant to this component it will not work this way. Now I can actually tell it's the opposite way around so I'm gonna switch between of the two variants. That looks good. So I'm gonna click F on my keyboard and I'm gonna drag a frame underneath our component and now the next step is to prototype it. So I'm gonna go to my prototype tab and I'm gonna select the on switch and I'm gonna drag an arrow to the off switch and I'm gonna tell it that on click change the variant and you can see we have that little toggle and I'm gonna choose smart animate and for the animation I'm gonna choose ease in and out back. That creates some kind of bouncy animation in between them that I really like. And let's do the opposite way around. We're gonna select our off toggle and we're gonna drag an arrow to the on toggle. And what I really like about Figma that it recognizes the, the preview interaction that we've created and it saves it. So you don't have to make changes unless you want to. Smart animate, easy and back. And let's select our frame and let's preview it by clicking on the play button. 
And you see it works perfectly, our button moves from on to off very very nicely and very very smoothly. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Follow me on Instagram and check out my latest design using Figma in the links down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.